Hello, hello everyone, welcome back and today I'm making an 8 by 8 birthday card for my sister-in-law. So over here I have 8 by 8 base and I already have prepped, as you can see, another white layer and this one I'm using is warm copper uh, luster cardstock from Sentimentally Yours, absolutely love it. And I will be using quite a bit of products on this card, so I will be showing you all those as I'm going along. So, let's begin. And the next layer is going to be another white layer, which I'm going to stamp on. Also, I will be using these fabulous tags. And I'll show you those. These are the tags I'm using. And these are crescent top layering dies I'm using two of those on my card and I will put all the links in the description below if you are interested so browse for those I also um, embossed this white layer with classic flourish embossing folder and these are 8x8 folders embossing folders from Sentimentally Yours as well, of course. So first of all, I'm thinking, I am thinking, we're going to put this one aside for now. I was going to use this fabulous stamp set. So these are Stitching Borders by Trudy. And... I'm planning on using this beautiful border over here and one of the stitched bits. So for that, also, before I forget, there is another set of border uh, stamps. Um, this one, which is absolutely fabulous as well. So check out those these are timeless so i was thinking to put this large beautiful border on the left side and then some stitching going around it so for that i will need my stamping platform and let's go ahead and do that first put all these magnets aside for now I will need them all however and I'm going to put a bit of paper underneath so the platform doesn't get dirty too dirty These are good magnets. Okay, so I'll put those magnets around. And normally, not many people actually get cards from me. <laughs> I know I'm on the design team and I'm making loads of cards, uh, but not for family or friends. They usually don't get any. So let's put this one. And I want it quite close to the edge. Hopefully you can see that. Let me have a quick look. Yes, you can. Good. So I'm trying to center it. Kind of. And make it even from this edge over here and I will be using VersaFine Claire and it moved but that's fine we we'll put it back so I'm using VersaFine Claire Nocturne this one here black one and 
let's have a look. Oh, and I've made a mess already. Let me just get a baby wipe and wipe it off before it gets everywhere. Okay, I think we can continue now. <laughs> just have to be careful. Okay, so make sure you put enough ink on your stump. And I'm using my stumping buddy to help me out. I absolutely love it. It's an air hockey puck. Uh, you can get it from Amazon. And mine is quite large. Um, I decided to go for, an, for a large version. This is three and three quarters of inches inches uh, three and three quarter inches in diameter so it's quite large one helps me a lot and saves me my fingers so i'm happy with that and i'm going over this way Okay, so this looks good. Baby wipe. Now I did get one of these as well. So this is stump cleaning mat. Um, I did get this one from um, Honeypot Crafts Co. UK. Amazing little thing, but I haven't missed it yet. So it's still dry. <laughs> so next time I will be using my stumps. I will definitely be cleaning um, in this little tool. It looks amazing and when Phil demoed it I absolutely loved it and I thought it's just a pure pure magic the way it cleans stumps but for now until I missed it I'm gonna use baby wipes I have to miss it definitely so let's clean our stump so one side is done this is good. I'm going to put this stump back uh, where it belongs. Dry it a little bit. So let's put this stump back. And now to decide on the, what kind of stitching I want. So I want our stitching to go let me put this one back straight okay i want stitching to go around on these three sides so i'm thinking it's gonna be either this one here or the one with straight line bam, bam, bam. okay I am going with this one and now I need to position it straight and I want it to start from the mm, from here and i think it looks good it looks good let's ink this one stamp it Okay, I do like the way it looks. Now I want to clean the stump and we're gonna go. Uh, let me just get a little bit of tissue. 
to dry it quickly. We don't want any tissue on the stamp itself. So now I'm going with the same stamp. Now on the top, trying to align it so that it's the same. I'm going to have to stand up for this. So it's kind of the same amount of space. And if it's a little bit on the wong, it doesn't really matter much, but we want to make it look nice. So just try as best as you can to do it straight. And let's do this side. Okay, let's have a quick look. That looks good. Yeah, I like that. Our next step is I'm going to clean it again. And now I want to go from this side. So in order to do that, I actually want to mask the top bits. So I want, I'll show you what I want. I want my stump to go up to this line and not going over. So for that, I will mask it and I'm using scotch masking tape. It's brilliant. Just need two pieces of those. And I will mask it right over this stitching here. So it doesn't go over. And this one here. Take my stamp. Position it again and I'm going for the same amount kind of plus minus if it's not that's fine if it's a little bit off that's completely fine in the end of the day this is handmade card pick it up and I will link it again. Okay. And press it down. And let's have a look. Okay. Now I'm taking masking tape off. Goes in a bin like so and I will put the lid back on put it back and I will show you now what we have for our top layer for the card um, just wipe this one quickly and I can put it back in my own time so this is our layer and you see what I mean so I didn't want to go over that way stitching and this is what we ended up with which I have to say I do like looks good to me so this layer i'm gonna put on foam tape and i'm using two millimeter foam tape here let's put it on i 
and these are here I'm using sentimentally yours pokey tools coming in a set of three really handy three different uh, nibs to them so check out those okay our card base and now we are going to put this layer on on the foam tape to raise it up a little bit looks nice so far so i already showed you uh, these two tags these are planning to go like so uh, one is going to be straight another one a little bit on the side so let's put this one on this one is already on the foam tape and for the little one i'm gonna have to put foam tape on because i have to measure where it's gonna go where exactly it's gonna go so this tag is going on this side and this one is gonna go like so so i will need and i'm usually take my pencil and draw on the back because no one is gonna see the back so i know where to put my foam tape i want my foam tape on this side here yep so again let's take a little bit of foam tape and now i definitely know where to put it exactly so it's like my little guide okay again tape backing off I absolutely love these pokey tools. Well, now let's have a look. It will go slightly at an angle just to create a little bit more interest, like so. And I forgot to put the glue underneath, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to squeeze a little bit of glue under okay that should be plenty <laughs> completely forgot to put glue underneath i'm just gonna hold it for a couple of seconds let it glue together i think it looks really nice already and now we are going to embellish our card so for that what i'm using is as i said it's going to be a, a birthday wishes card and i will be using i probably will put sentiment last at this time uh, because let me think because i want to put all the flourishes see how they sit put sentiment last or at least this side the flourishes that are gonna go on this side i want to put them first flourishes and flowers and then put the sentiment on and finish it with another few flowers on this side here okay so let's do that <clears throat> let's do that and for that i have this beautiful flourish which is splendid swirls i do absolutely love it and you get left facing and right facing Today I'm using only one and also uh, for birthday wishes 
I am using uh, the brand new dies, Birthday Wishes Framed Sentiment Collection. So I die cut these one in black and white. I think it's going to pop nice and it also will look nice because on black and white because we have black borders. So that also flowers, not to forget about flowers. And this is my one of my favorite combinations, I have to say. Um, so these flowers, no, sorry, these are leaves and I am not using those. These two set of, sets of flowers. And these are Precious Blooms. And also Darling Blooms. And I absolutely love, love, love the combination of both of those. So, show you those. Also, I'm using gems, and these are amber gems. Everything is sentimentally yours, and links are going to be in the description down below. So, for the bottom, I'm going to use the largest three flowers. So, let's have a look where these are going to go. Yep, yeah, this looks good. So, first of all, I am going to glue my swirl on the card. And to glue the swirl, I will just use ordinary glue. And this is Sentimentally Yours Premium PVA glue. And hold it down a little bit. Let it glue to the layer underneath. Okay, and then a little bit of dimension, of course. So I want my glue a little bit on here also on here and now I will bend it like so and now hold it onto place let it sit like this for a couple of seconds well, I say a couple of seconds, few seconds, because obviously this one I'm trying to glue on the embossing folder and it doesn't want to glue down. Because I didn't let it sit for long enough. So let's do it again. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And this bit. Just have to be a little bit more patient with it. I think this one did glue down. I'm still trying to hold on to this one. We will get there, no doubt about that. Okay, I can see. I can see it now. Okay. Now the flowers. Flowers are going on a glue gel. And what is my little bit of tissue? Uh, flowers are going on a glue gel. This is going to be quite a dimensional card. I think I'm going to have to top up 
my syringe in a moment one flower another one is going next to it glue gel again over here and then this little one let me have a look it's either gonna go under or it's gonna go over here i think it's gonna go under like so yeah let's put it under there because don't forget we're still gonna have a sentiment to put on top of these tags okay so the bottom flowers are done next thing i have uh from our leafy things i die cut these beautiful leaves these ones also my favorite these are my favorite 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 to combine them with something else they're perfect so these leaves are succulent foliage so succulent foliage and berry branches succulent for succulent foliage and berry branches okay so uh these two and i will shape it a little bit using my bone folder easy to do as you can see i uh, might not use the whole length we will see we will see in a bit so i want this one to go this side and it's gonna go on pva glue and i'm only gluing the end of the stem so it's going under there like so under this big flower hold it hold it i think it's gonna look really nice when we finish it i love this warm copper luster card it's a beautiful beautiful color so this one is down now we need to put this one this one is going under this flower and i'm going to put it on the glue gel because i have some space in there So under here, like so. Now, our what is it called? Berry branches, berry branches uh, to dilute a little bit this copper color. So, berry, one berry branch is going to go here yep and i'm twisting it because i want to put a little bit of glue on this side and a little bit of glue on here on top so we're gonna give it a little bit of dimension again now i'm gonna have to turn it around and take something something take this one so i want it under there making sure that we have something to glue it onto underneath 
so it sticks and I'm trying to poke it in under the tag and it doesn't really want to go there but yep I've got it I've got it I've got it so under the tag press it down and let it sit and now this little bit I want to glue onto this leaf here like so so I'm just gonna hold it hold it hold it okay no hold it more okay so I'll show you what I'm trying to do uh, see the dimension so I did poke it through the bottom bit under the tag over there and the top bit right on this leaf so it it has a really nice dimension to it hopefully you can see that through the camera and now we have diluted a little bit of this copper color on our card and this one doing the same but from this side so I'm thinking maybe just to leave it actually as it is I am going to poke it under the glue gel um that is on the flower i was going to say but i might have to put a little bit more and now have to be really careful not to mess it up okay this one is under and i am going to glue this little bit on the glue to our top card layer so twist it again and it's going here like so So now again hold it for a little bit and we have an absolutely lovely dimension going on on this card. I love these tags. These tags you can use for absolutely everything. Next on our agenda is to put our sentiment and it's gonna go across like so. I also have die cut sister and this one is elegant script female relatives so as well as these ones you have your shadow and your top layer so elegant script female relatives and you have all sorts in here as you can see beautiful set So I am going to put birthday wishes first and I will put birthday wishes on glue gel to pop it up of course who doesn't like a bit of dimension on their card So birthday is gonna go 
here press it down a little bit but not too hard and wishes is gonna go underneath and i ran out of my glue gel so hang on a second i will top it up okay so glue gel is topped up we can continue now uh, wishes is going on glue gel wishes is going underneath the birthday and i haven't decided yet where i'm gonna put sister so i'm gonna leave it till last or almost last uh, that's what we've got so far hopefully you can see that okay now next thing is i have another three flowers left these little ones i also have a couple of butterflies so these butterflies i will show you now uh, these butterflies are from this set here and this is a bit of glue gel and this set is called beautiful butterflies so you get two solid ones and two intricate so i have die cut one intricate and one solid so let's have a look where these are gonna go i will shape them a little bit i'm using my bone folder and then take your tweezers pop it up like so so i'm thinking one butterfly is gonna go definitely there this one is gonna go somewhere here but we need these three flowers and i think we need to put them first one two three squish it a little bit more So these three flowers are going in this corner here. Let's put those ones and glue gel again. One. And then another one on the glue gel. and last one last one is a little bit see-through so careful where you put and how much you put glue gel on so our flowers are on now butterflies if one is gonna go here another one there I need to put sister somewhere so I think I'm gonna put sister under wishes over here okay so it's going on the glue gel and the shadows over here are very intricate so be careful with your glue gel don't overdo it with your glue gel okay 
and make sure it's all straight we have a look I have something oh, a little little bit of something over here okay so let me have a look if it's straight yep it does look straight butterfly I want it to sit at an angle let me have a look which angle okay so plenty of glue gel on here and we're gonna pop it so it flies over there this butterfly is gonna fly to the right like so and this one is gonna go is gonna fly to the left side have some little bits So again, pos position them how you want and leave them alone to dry. Okay. So this is what we've got so far. And I think I like the way it looks so I think we need to pop a couple of gems let's have a look where I'm thinking to do my usual <laughs> usual too um, this side mm -mm. or we can go for small ones in between I lost the gem in between over here as well that would look nice but I can't really get under there okay so we stick to these two for now and PVA glue couple of dots of those in the corner one another one and then little ones again one from each side and this is just my thing I like to put two gems like like that And I think, I think we have finished our card. So I showed you all the products I have used, uh, some new releases, newest releases, some older releases. So hopefully this is the dimension of our card but it doesn't have to go through the post so i'm happy with that and 
in the description box below you're gonna find all the links if you are interested in any of these products also don't forget to give me a like give me some love and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of my new video releases and thank you so much for watching until next time bye